Dear viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, there will be a discussion on Introduction to Women Entrepreneurship, Meaning and Definition of Women Entrepreneurs, Characteristics of Women Entrepreneurs. Kindly watch the video till the end. Like it, share among your friends and subscribe to the channel. If you have already subscribed, kindly ignore the message. If you have any comments, please put your comments in the comment box. Now, let's move to the presentation. Women constitute around half of the population of the world. Today, wherever you go, you find the presence of women. As far as India is concerned, in Manu Smriti, Manu told that Yatra Naryastu Pujyante Ramante Tatra Devataha which means where there is a women, where there is an honor to women or where women are worshipped, there, there exists the presence of the God. Indian women were confined to the household activities. They never used, they are almost uh, stick to kitchen only. Even they, they never used to come to the hall also in the earlier days. But the, today, the things are changing. They have come out of the four walls in the modern societies. They, they have come out of the four walls to participate in all sorts of activities. You, you will see today, there is a presence of women in every sector. Women is a teacher today. Women uh, are there in the aviation industry. Women are there in the hospitality industry. Women are there in the service sector. So where even in, if you take the agriculture also, majority of the women are doing the agriculture also. So it is rightly said by Jawaharlal Nehru that when women move forward, the family moves, the village moves and the nation. That means if the women make a progress, definitely the country will make the progress. There is a greater importance for the equality of the women with men today. You might have seen even the parla in the, even the constitution has provided that there must be a scope for the participation of women in all the sectors. The parliament has passed a bill as a women reservation bill where earlier the women reservation was 33% now which is increased to 50%. They are on par with the men today. They are performing each and every kind of activity what the men can do here. Women not only the, play the role in the home but also in the society and ultimately it leads to the women empowerment. If you are looking to the, in the villages also, today women are the members of the self-help groups through which they are going to undertake their entrepreneurship to lead the happy life and thereby they are contributing to the growth of the entrepreneurship in that particular region. So here, even Gandhiji told that he, when women make moon in the midnight, then only the country will get the freedom. So that has come almost to the reality today. Of course, there are a lot of women atrocity cases are there. But still then, women are striving hard to achieve their personal goal as well as the country's objectives. Now let us see then who is a women entrepreneur here? The definition is given by Shimbita who says, women who innovate, imitate, or adopt a business activity are called as women entrepreneur. You take for example today the Biocon uh, CEO Kiran Mojinder Shah is a live example. You take for example Anita Ambani who always makes an innovation who was not at all concerned with the cricket. Now she is a franchise owner of Mumbai Indians. So women who innovate, imitate or adopt a business activity are called as women entrepreneurs. So they must be engaged in one or the other kind of the business here. Then the one more definition is given by Kamal Singh, who is a, a women entrepreneur from Rajasthan, has defined women entrepreneur as a confident, innovate and a creative women capable of achieving self-economic independence individually or in collaboration, generates employment opportunities for others through initiating, establishing and running the enterprise by keeping pace with her personal, family and social life. 
so the women entrepreneur is almost a confident woman who can participate on par with the men who can give a tough competition to the uh, men men category and a woman is always an innovator women is capable of achieving self economic independence today you may find if you go to the rural india the, the women are under the clutches of the men so when they undertake the entrepreneurship so they can come over out of the such clutches here and they they will be economically independent they need not depend upon men for their economic activities either such entrepreneurship can be taken individually or it may be taken in collaboration and which generates employment opportunities you may be knowing today the micro enterprises are established by these women and providing the ample employment opportunities to the other women who are of, who are deprived in the society you may be knowing today majority of the micro enterprises are taking place through the help of self help groups so many people are engaged in uh, preparing the potato chips or it may be like uh, the preparation of uh, noodles or it may be like uh, the uh, preparation of uh, ice cream sticks so all these things such uh, establishments are taken today they have done and they are running the enterprise by keeping pace with her personal family and a social life so when a woman undertakes an entrepreneurship not only she achieves the her uh, objective that is the primary objective here is economic independence along with that she will get, gain the importance in her family because she is also the bread earner there and even her social skills will be improved she is going to meet so many people to in order to uh, develop her uh, enterprise here the one more definition is given by government of india which defines here an enterprise owned and controlled by a women having a minimum financial interest of 51% of the capital and giving at least 51% of the employment generated in the enterprise to women that means here an a women entrepreneurship which is started by which will be started by a women and the contribution of by the women in such total capital will be 51% and uh, it should provide 51% of the employment opportunities to uh, the women sector only so women not only a job seeker but also a job provider from this definition we can come to know now let's see then what are the functions performed by women entrepreneurs here a women entrepreneur is not different from a man entrepreneur here what a man entrepreneur performs the same functions will be performed by even an a women entrepreneur a man plans for the activities similarly a women also plans a man will a man will implement his plans similarly a women a women will also implement her plans here so she performs almost to the managerial functions which are performed by the men here they include the idea generation the screening and determination of objectives project preparation product analysis and determination of the forms of business organizations completion or completion or promotional formalities raising of the funds procuring the money machine material and operation of the business here so when you look into these things here these her functions are uh, include exploration of the prospects of starting a new business enterprise she is going to generate an idea to start a business or an enterprise in the world which will give competition to men so she is going to explore the new ideas you may be knowing uh, they are going to go for making the pickle making that pickle making they are going to teach the same to thing to other women who will also join their hands with uh, such an entrepreneur here so they are going to explore the prospects of starting a new business enterprise here then she undertakes the risks and handling of the economic uncertainties involved in the business of course always the business is having uncertainty there will be ups and downs in the business so she has the ability to manage such ups and downs so when she is 
having the crunch of finance she is going to think how the finance can be met here so either she may mobilize her own savings or even she may goes for borrowing from her friends and relatives or she may take the formal finance here she introduces the innovations or she imitates already suppose for example a women entrepreneur is carrying the same business she also will they are going to come here you may be knowing today many micro enterprises are they are established by uh, women only she coordinates administers and she also controls the business here she, she needs to know the taste of the market and accordingly she goes for producing and she goes for uh, administering and uh, even she is supervised and she will become a leader there are plenty of examples today who are starting this here uh, who are starting such a small enterprise and who have uh, gained a momentum today in the women entrepreneurship here now let's look into the characteristics of women here the first priority of the women is of course the household obligations she has to manage her husband she has to manage her children because a woman is playing the role of wife mother sister so she has to complete all those roles and she has to give time for the enterprise here she cannot concentrate entirely on the business and if business is large in size still it is difficult to, for her to manage it hence she establishes only the tiny uh, and a very small business units today positivity always women are more positive and compared to men here keeping a positive outlook on life is a key factor for any successful person here women however in positions of authority tend to have a sunshine outlooks or on everything always women are ready to take the risks they are going to plan how to face the problem these women always see the bright side of the situation and embrace it full full with full force always they have optimistic in nature they think of the future and they are they are always daring to take the uh, the risks lack of mobility here women lack mobility because they cannot move to far away places on account of the business work here she is not as strong as men physically as well as mentally therefore because of the torture abuse atrocities etc she cannot go freely at any time this adversely affect on her efficiency always you may be knowing these micro entrepreneurs they were more depend upon their men counterpart men counterpart for mobility of the goods from one place to another place then ambitious sorry hard working everyone knows that the success does not come without hard work when you when there is a hard work it to uh, it will provide the fruits here successful women don't just look hard part of the time they work hard all of the time they are dedicated individuals which is much harder in practice women go much devotion than the men so they are very hard working chaps and they are going to achieve more than the men here even you even if you take the for example the results of the 10 standard or the even it may be the second pc always the passing percentage among the girls is more than the boys so they are more hard working then women are more ambitious women are not dead dreamers always they convert their dreams into reality they make dreams into reality the nature of the hard work in them make them more ambitious they are going to have a plan even if you take your own mother she plans her activities very well and she leads the life for entire one month with the amount of which is given by her husband so even a mother is an entrepreneur because she manages she is the best finance manager extension of the kitchen experience always women whatever they have experience they are going to encash it the enterprises of women are influenced by their by their kitchen experience what they prepare at the in the in the kitchen they are going to start today you may be knowing 
many of many of the women have launched their youtube channels by providing the various recipes for the veg as well as a non veg items here so there are plenty of things they are going to prepare small small videos and upload on the youtube and uh, they are going to take the advantage of the technology and today you might have seen there is a huge number of subscribers to their channel and people and for that companies they provide a funding uh, when uh, their youtube uh, channel performs well in fact uh, this they started to prepare uh, eatables like pickles papad or uh, chutney powders etc women establish a traditional business as they have a wide experience of the kitchen here they are more emotional dependence on male here women have a inner uncertainty of their own capabilities and needed a male support to have their either money business know how and moral support always the inhibitions among the women will curtail the entrepreneurship among the women today they are they are not ready to freely talk to their uh, uh, to the external world to get the things done here the inhibitions among them make them to depend upon the men otherwise they will surpass the men here socio cultural norms of course india is a land of traditions society imposes a lot of restrictions on women even you might have seen in the early days if you go to during the 1900s women even never wear to jeans t-shirts etc today it has become quite common they are slowly overcoming the such socio cultural norms such a social restrictions and religious dogmas have stood in the way of women entrepreneurship today even the society does not propagate her entrepreneurship they curtail always say, the, uh, the working women are not at all welcomed by their counterpart society has set up guidelines for women regarding what to do and what not to do such restrictions have become obstacles in the development of women entrepreneurship in india the work life balance women can efficiently cope up with the stress levels they have uh, they are the alternative alternative for the term patience if there's a patience it's only with women only she can efficiently cope up with the stress levels in a better way by spending valuable time with her children spouse and family members she very well knows how the how to balance her work life which is one of the keys uh, to success uh, success in their work life she makes time to spend with her children and supports them in every possible way without any excuses of busy work life so she is known for balancing the family life as well as work life here thank you